All right, guys, welcome back to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say, and today we're going to be going through this 2015 Cimarron North Star four horse living quarter. Our stock number on this unit is 5U191463. So this is one of our used trailers that we got in on trade and we love getting Cimarron with outlaw conversions in on trade. They tend to sell really quickly because people know that the Cimarron combined with an outlaw conversion is going to mean quality that will last. So we've got this trailer here in on trade um, and we're really excited to show it to you today. So a couple things that I wanted to mention while we're up here by the front. Um, when, our, when these trailers come in on trade, our, both of our shops PDI this trailer and go through and make sure everything is ready to roll so that you can hook this trailer up and hit shows and trails and not have to worry about anything. So one of the things that they always check is they always check the safety chains, uh, the breakaway batteries, um, they go through, they make sure that the brakes and bearings, all the signal lights are all in good working order. We want to make sure that you can safely take this trailer down the road. Since this trailer is a 2015, it kind of hits in that year where the tires, if they haven't been replaced, they're probably going to need to be. Um, on this particular trailer, we did replace the tires, um, all fours, all four on the floor are brand new. So when we go back that way, I'll show you the DOT code um, so that you can see what we do with these trailers. On the front of this trailer, you'll notice you have a, a hydraulic jack, so it makes it really easy for you to hook up by yourself. This is a big trailer at 30 feet on the floor. You're not gonna wanna be cranking this one up. So this hydraulic jack makes things really, really simple. If for any reason you ever lost power to your trailer and were not able to operate the jack, you've got your, your emergency stick here that you can just insert in here, spin a knob, this little red, well it used to be red, <laughs> this little knob, you spin it in or out, and then you can pump up or pump down the trailer. So that's always something you want to make sure you have before you roll down the road. We've got 30 pound propane bottles on this trailer. Um, so if you are going to be out for a little bit longer, it's nice to have these bigger bottles. They'll last you quite a bit more time. Um, and it's, it's really great if you're camping in some of those colder nights because you can run your furnace off your propane. Alrighty, so we're going to work our way around. But first I wanted to show you guys, um, I believe that the people that used this before, they, they did endurance. So water is really important. Um, you've got a 60 gallon fresh water tank on this trailer so if you're out on the trails and you're not connected to your city water, um, you're not at a campsite of some sort, um, then you can still water your horses off your fresh, fresh water tank um, and not have to worry about bringing a ton extra. So as we work our way through here, you'll notice this trailer doesn't have an awning. Um, so when this trailer came in, it had a two-step awning and it was beyond repair. So we actually took that awning off. Our service department is capable of installing a new one for you. We've left all the hardware there in case you do want to go that option. And that's something we can absolutely price out for you. So on this trailer, you've got a lot of lights. Um, we've got a little awning light here so that if you're coming in and out at night, you're not going to be fumbling and tripping over the step. Um, and then we've got some courtesy lights down low, um, just, just adds a nice uh, little bit of light splash back so that you can easily see getting around your trailer. And then as you work your way down, you'll see there's a big awning light over where your horses can be tied. And these things right here, you might be wondering what those are. Those are high ties and they've left the hardware or they've left the, the ropes for the high ties in this trailer. So if that is something you want to do, um, you can tie your horses up like that. Otherwise, we still have the rings here in the event that you just want to tie them directly to the trailer. Um, these are bucket hangers. So if you've got some buckets that you don't want to just clip here, um, this is a nice, great place for you to throw those buckets. 
And as you look up above, this trailer is actually, actually has a big old hay pod on it and an onboard Onan 4000 generator. Um, so everything is really clean. It looks really great from the exterior. And if you're hauling hay, you're not gonna have to be worried about tarping it and keeping everything in. It's gonna stay dry up in that hay pod. All right, and one more thing. While we're over here, I'm gonna show you guys the DOT code on these tires. So right here, we've discussed this before, but this, these tires were produced in the 17th week, 17th week of 2019. So all these tires were replaced by us um, before, before it came in so that we can be ready to roll. All right. Now we're gonna go into the fun part. So this trailer is set up just a little bit differently than most of the units we have in here. Um, this is an outlaw conversion. It's an outlaw by outlaw, so that means um, that this was a custom trailer. There's a lot of little upgrades that, that they were able to do on this trailer over a pro line. Um, everything is hardwood cabinetry. Um, you've got a lot of really great insulation, soft touch walls. Um, and this bathroom up front is really great if you have people staying with you. You're not going to have to walk by them if they're sitting on, if they're laying on the couch and you're up in bed and need to run to the bathroom at night. And as you'll zoom down, there's some little blue lights down there. Those are more courtesy lights, so you don't have to turn on all the lights at night and wake everybody up. It's just really soft light for you to get around at night. All right. And then up front, you'll notice that we've got this little enclosed nose up front, but we also have a little door up there. So if you did want a little more privacy or a little bit of quiet, say your partner has to get up early and go feed the horses and you don't want to wake everybody up, it's really great. Just close that little sliding barn door and you're good to go. So as you'll notice, there is a TV up in that nose. So we've got two TVs on this trailer and it is wired for direct TV. So if you want to have satellite on this trailer, it's already set up. Outlaw does a really great job of making sure there's storage absolutely anywhere they can stuff it. So we've actually got storage underneath these first top two steps. Really great, throw some winter clothes in there, some extra food storage, whatever you need to do. Down below, you have your 16,000 BTU furnace. It'll pump out quite a bit of heat, keep you nice and warm. It is ducted, so you will be able to kind of direct the air where you want it to go. All right, as we're working our way back, you do have exterior spe and interior speakers. Um, so if you want to play some music outside, get the party going, that's a great option. Lots of little storage up above this couch. And as you'll notice, this trailer is a 2015 and you're not going to see any of your trim falling down. Um, Outlaw does a really great job of making sure these, these trailers can withstand the, the, um, the earthquake conditions that they, they, they experience going down the road. So you're not going to see a lot of wear and tear, a lot of sagging in your, in, your, in your doors. They do a really great job. These trailers are built like little custom homes. So you want, you want them to have quality that will last. This folds down into a bed. So as I was saying, it's a four horse trailer. If you've got some people that are going with you, um, this is a great place for them to stay. And then this is actually doubles as water storage underneath your trailer. So I mentioned you have a 60 gallon fresh water tank under there um, that you can feed your horses out of and feed yourself. It's a really great little option. This trailer is, has a ton of counter space for a 12 foot four short wall. It's got seamless counter here. And then if you needed to use your burners, they're tucked away nicely under there. 
a nice big sink. Because sometimes you have to do dishes. And then a, a paper towel rod. There's never, you always need somewhere to store something to keep, keep your, your trailer clean. Up in here I wanted to show you guys how clean um, Outlaw does all their wiring. They have all these little trap doors um, so you can access their wiring. Everything is single run. Um, they don't like to splice. And Outlaw has the, the diagram for every single trailer they've ever built. So if you have an issue, um, they've got a 24-7 support line that you can call up or your technician can call up and they can tell you where the wiring is on every single trailer that they have. On this trailer, since it is an Outlaw, you've got a big convection microwave. So if you want to cook some, bake some cookies, have a little taste of home, it's a great place for that. You've got your water heater down below. They use the same plumbing that you do at, at your home, so copper plumbing, tons of storage. This trailer is really set up wonderfully for someone to, to live in it for a bit while they're, they're out riding or showing. This is one of my favorite features on this trailer. I feel like there's never enough pantry storage, but this one has its own built-in little pantry. And you can actually adjust these shelves. So say you've got some really big, big cereal boxes you need to stuff in there. Um, you can move these shelves up and down and customize them to fit your needs. All right, 6-0 refridge. And as I mentioned before, there's your second TV. And it is on a swivel, so if you need a better angle, it's great. You can just move it right around. In here, you have a big double um, rod closet. Lots of storage in there. And as you'll notice in the back, you have a little single leg table. So if you want to eat dinner at a table, um, it's a great little, just pops right into the floor, set it up and go. So that's another little trap door. Um, right down here, you have access to all your breakers and fuses. Just a great way to access all of that. All right. As I said, this is a really usable floor plan. Um, really great if you've got more than more than two people staying in this trailer. It'll, it'll kind of keep your flow from having to walk over each other, especially if somebody's sleeping on this couch here. They've got it down, taking up quite a bit of area. You're not gonna have to walk through them to get to the bathroom. So now we're gonna make our way into the stall area. So it does have a pass-through door. And on this door, we've hinged it this way so that if you've got a horse in this first stall, um, the horse is leaning into the framing. You're not just gonna, they're not just gonna pop through and you're gonna find a horse in your living quarters when you get somewhere. All right. So on this trailer, they've gone ahead and done a big stud divider on this first stall. Something that's really popular. Not a lot of people are necessarily hauling studs, but they want the option to use this first stall as storage if they're not if they're not hauling um, four horses. Say you don't want to throw hay up in your, in your hay pod, you can throw it back here. Coolers, buckets, anything. This stall is really easy to access. You've got a front escape door. It's a great place to throw a lot of things. On these trailers, Simran has been doing for a very long time, making sure that their trailers are very safe for the horses that you're traveling with. So you'll notice everything has a nice rounded edge. You're not gonna find a lot of sharp, sharp pieces for your horses to hurt themselves on. Um, Cimarron takes into account horses safety first and foremost. So they try and make sure they have the best ride possible. These dividers are spring loaded, so they will kind of sit back. It makes it really easy for you to load, load horses without having to hold back all the dividers. Um, it's a, just a really nice feature. You'll notice that they've got a high-grade plastic here. Cimarron does their best to make sure that everything is quiet, close, um, avoid metal-to-metal -metal contact. Not only does metal-on-metal -metal wear faster, 
than metal and plastic, but it's also louder. So they try and do everything they can to make it really horse friendly. Um, since this is an eight wide trailer, you will have your wheel wells in this, in this trailer, but your horses have a lot of room to stretch out. It's gonna easily haul those bigger ones. And you're also seven, seven tall, so you've got a lot of head space. In this trailer, you've got those Optibrite lights. So those lights are gonna, number one, throw out more light than, than the traditional lights. They're also gonna save you a little bit of energy and they're gonna last longer. Got big bus windows on the hip side. Um, so those horses will get lots of airflow. There's a lot of great airflow moving through this trailer right now and we're standing still. Um, say you wanted a little bit more, you've also got pop vents. And I'm personally not tall enough to grab these on these seven, seven tall trailers. So I would recommend um, opening them beforehand if you're not quite as short as I am. Um, on this trailer, you'll notice you don't see um, any of the center posts behind it. It's got a line and insulate package on the stall walls. Just makes it re look really clean um, and it's a lot easier to clean as well. So we work our way out. Nice little butt bar. And you'll notice this trailer doesn't have the traditional 60-40 doors that you see on a lot of, a lot of um, four horse loads like this. We've actually got a side tack on this trailer um, that makes it really great. Lots of space. You're not going to have to worry about having hay and dust on your saddles when you get there. So this is nice and enclosed. They've got a rubber mat in here, so it's really easy to pull that out, clean this up, um, make this trailer look really, stay and look really clean. As I mentioned before, here's all the ropes for your high ties. Um, this saddle rack right here is removable, so if you did need to take it out and needed to haul, have a little bit more storage back here, that's something you can easily do. Um, these saddle racks, or these saddle holders are adjustable. So you just loosen the nuts and bolts on each side and you can slide them up or down, however you see fit. See fit. And then you've got blanket bars up top and they have the same principle. You can easily slide them in or out or add more. That's something that we usually keep in stock. So if you needed um, more blanket bars on this, we can definitely hook you up. On this wall, they've done, they've done a carpeted wall on this door, um, bridle hooks. We can easily add more if you need some more. And then your good old brush box on the door. Um, it has holes in it, so if you need to rinse this out, I know a lot of people haul shampoos and, and fly spray and things like that. And they don't always, when they tip over, they don't always stay sealed. Um, so if you needed to clean this out without taking it off the door, it's really easy. All right, so as we're working our way back, just want you to notice there's another big awning light more high ties on this side. Um, this trailer is set up, so if you wanted to um, have two horses on each side, it's really easy. Or if you, you needed to tie them all up on this side, it's really easy as well. You've got your, your big jail bars um, that slide in and out really easily. Cimarron has its standard really heavy duty drop downs. So you've got over six inches of framing on this trailer. This trailer's a 2015 and you're not gonna see any issues with it. You've got a big manger. You've got a door behind that other one as well. I just wanna show you how much storage you have through here. This trailer's really set up so that if you wanna haul a lot of stuff, you can. Your front escape door. And then back here, if, if say you are in a campsite and you did want to plug in um, and not use your generator, you do have um, your 30 amp uh, plug in right there. And then if you are camping and you do want to just have water on board, here's your, here's your, your fill for your tank. So this is our 2015 Cimarron Northstar Outlaw Conversion. 
If you're in the market for a, for a used trailer that's really high quality, this is a great option for you. Um, there's something that you know that you'll be able to keep pulling this trailer down the road for many years to come. It's a brand that's going to last um, with a conversion that's going to last. So if you have any questions, my name is Callie Say. You can reach me at 970-309. Or if you have other questions and want to reach our main number, you can call us at 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in.